Sam Lowe here for irishboxing.com. Absolutely delighted to be joined by the winner of the 52 kilos under 22 Irish National Championships in the National Stadium today, Dana Moorhouse. Dana, first of all, congratulations, great performance. Just talk to me, reflect on the fight, talk to me about your performance. Were you happy with it? I was happy enough with it, yeah. I knew I knew Chloe was tough, you know. I knew like she would have been a great fight and a really tough one. Uh, I'm European champion, Chloe's European champion, so definitely knew, you know, it was going to be a really good fight, which it was. Yeah. But um, I'm happy I'm after coming out with the win, you know. She's a very good girl and, you know, great fight between the both of us. Yeah. It was definitely tightly contested. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, you didn't get it all your own way for sure. Um, I mean, what does it mean to you to be Irish national champion? I mean, at this stage, you've, you just said there, you're European champion, you've won many Irish titles, but is, is this one any less special than the previous ones? No, it's just as special as the elites. Any Irish title I've won, you know. Yeah. I won my 10th Irish title in my last elite, so I was number 11 now, so yeah. especially being up at this level, under, it's my first under 22, so I missed out on it last year with COVID and stuff, so... Mm. You know, it's good to finally have it under my belt. Yeah. What's it like winning the elites and then kind of almost dropping back down to the 22s? You know what I mean? It's like you've already gone up to the, the highest category in, in Irish amateurs that you can go to and you've won. To come back down, like, is there a different type of pressure? Because I think there's kind of a level of expectation on your shoulders then to win, right? Yeah, like with the elites, I suppose it's any age, you know, up to like 40. But this is under 22, so I wouldn't have met Chloe in the elites. She would have been too young, but um, I suppose it, it means the same to me. But I suppose with the elite, you know, you have older, you know, you're fighting women, you know, and well, we're, we're women, but like, yeah. I mean, older a and bit stuff, bigger, a yeah. Older, yeah. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah. yeah, more experience too. Yeah, so, sure. yeah. so talk to me about well, how was preparation? Like, I know over the, the COVID, it's been the same for pretty much everyone. But two years, no competition, maybe I ha hard to train at times. Uh, talk to me about that, the experience of that, and then how, how it's influenced your preparation for, for this event. Yeah, well, when I, was, I first came back, would have been my elite, my first fight back, you know, in two years. And that was, I thought I was fit for that, but then when I boxed, I was not fit, like, not at all. So I wanted to perform way better than I did in my last fight, so I really, really trained hard for it. And then I caught COVID too while training for this, but thank God I wasn't sick with it. I just I was able to keep jogging and stuff. So, but um, yeah, it was hard getting back into it. But now I feel like I'm finally back to the proper Dana Moore house. Like, yeah, yeah, amazing. So, what's in the future for you now, Dana? Like, are you aiming for the European Under Twenty Two European Championships? Maybe that's a short term goal. But what are the long term goals, and what do you see in your future? Well, first, obviously, the Under Twenty Two Europeans. You know, then I'm looking for hopefully elite level Europeans, world, and then obviously Olympics. So Olympics. Olympics, yeah, that's it. Has there ever any been? Has there ever been any thoughts of turning pro, or is the Olympics like the the, the big dream for you? I think the Olympics is the big dream for me. I haven't even, you know, people are like, oh yeah, you're gonna go pro. I'm like, Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to do that first, and then and then kind of see how you go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Brilliant. Let's touch very quickly on um, your boyfriend, Brandon McCarty, is also an elite national champion, I think, was just at the World Championships for, for Ireland and the elites. I mean, does that have any influence on your career and how you train and having someone who's kind of in the same boat as you and also an extremely high level boxer himself? Yeah, yeah. When we're like, say, well, he caught, he, I caught COVID off him. But uh, he was very, very, him. yeah, he was very, very sick with it. So that's why he isn't in these, because even now he still finds it hard to with his chest. But um, for the elites and that, like, he'd have me up, you know, early in the morning, like, come on, we're going jogging, we're going to meet your coach. And I suppose it makes it a bit easier too. And Casey also is boxing in these. She's yeah. my teammate. So the three of us, like, training together, it helps in having to do it all by yourself. And, and it's good to have... Brandon and Casey on the team also, like, up in Abbottstown, so. 100%, yeah, definitely, 100%. Look, we'll leave it there, Dana, but thank you so much for talking to irishboxing.com. Congratulations, you're Irish national champion again. Congratulations, thank you. Yeah.